Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this week's video I'm going to be showing you how you can drive real cars, supercars and hypercars in GTA 5 Online. So I'm using 5M which is an app downloaded from their website and it uses your GTA 5 game install on your Windows PC and it lets you play a uh, it's basically a modification for Grand Theft Auto 5, enabling you to play a multiplayer game on customized dedicated servers. Uh, so yeah, it's a mod, but it's separate from your GTA 5, so Rockstar cannot access your game. I just wanted to play this because I wanted to try real cars, which I've seen other players play on YouTube, and wondered how they did that, and and found this app basically so that I can drive real cars like um, you know Bugattis, Ferraris, Paganis, everything you know you name it you can get it in this um, and I thought this would be good just because we're waiting for the new update to come in a couple of days for GTA 5 uh, for the car meets and then it's going to be the biggest car update I think but again we're not going to get your Ferraris in there we're not going to get any Lamborghinis in there so this gives you a good way to right, on PC only to to try to try out real cars I did find this 5M app version of GTA 5 a bit glitchy. It does, it's not it's not that fun to play. It doesn't support the controller which I usually use on my PC version of GTA 5. Um, it it ha does require you to play completely on keyboard and mouse, and there's a lot of keys you need to use, F keys and menu keys to do certain things. But the easiest thing I found was that you can just jump into a car that another player has left or is driving in and steal the car off them so yeah this this gives it is it gives it game a bit of perspective in that sense that you don't have to buy the game to uh, buy the car if you don't want to you can just steal it off the street or off another player and uh, most cases they leave them unlocked so it does work a bit differently compared to GTA 5 you uh, have to start the engine all that kind of stuff but it yeah like I said it's not it's not the best game in the world uh, but for the purpose of driving actual cars made by real manufacturer, sports manufacturers, it, it gives you that. And as you can see, I'm driving around in Bugattis, Ferraris. Here I just turned up at a petrol station like the uh, real game you do have to fuel up in this at petrol stations you can't just drive the car around endlessly but as I did I found some other cars here one being the BMW i8 which is a hybrid so I don't know what he's well you know I was hoping that he'd have a bit more juice in it but I thought I'd steal it anyway Lamborghini Veneno and uh, yeah these cars are quite quick but as you can see with this one it is quite hard to drive it does glide around quite a bit another way of stealing cars which was that car meets where people would bring their nice cars modded cars tuned cars I found a way just to get rid of them, like this guy's doing here, and just jump into the cars and move them somewhere else. The other annoying part of this RP version of the game is that when you do die, you can't just respawn straight away, which is kind of annoying. And um, the guns, you can't just 
on this this particular server you can't just use any gun you want you do have to sort of stand behind a car which is again really annoying so I mean I don't think I'll be playing this more often as I would normally play the GTA 5 game but it was just good just to be able to drive actual manufactured cars like the Ferrari here Yeah, so I was just storing them around the corner so that they couldn't get back into their cars when they respawned. There's another Lamborghini here with a no with no bonnet, but the good thing is once you've got into the car, you can just save it to your vehicle list rather than actual GTA 5 game where you had to go into a garage and store your cars. This just saves them to your F1 or F3 menu, I can't remember which one it is. A McLaren P1, again, beautiful car, quick. The other main difference in playing GTA 5 on 5M servers is that if you do hit another car or a wall, uh, you do go flying out. Here someone had conveniently left a cop car. Now the way, the way this game works differently to your usual GTA 5 is obviously when you do play as a cop, if you can get to play as a cop, I'd, I've not figured out how to yet, uh, you can arrest other online players and put them in handcuffs and it stops them doing whatever they're normally doing. Pagani, really quick. So I took it down to the airport, give it a test run. So again, I found an official police uh, vehicle here. So I thought I'd use it to my advantage to see if I could arrest any players or trick them into being arrested. So yeah, I thought I'd take it out for a drive. And soon came across some poor unlucky kid. With minding his own business. As you can see, this guy just stopped. I don't think he's convinced I was a police officer with my outfit on. And then as soon as I pulled my gun out, I think he realised what was happening. And drove off. So yeah, let's see what hopefully the new GTA 5 update brings us this coming Tuesday. I look forward to seeing what new cars they're going to be introducing and uh, hopefully it'll bring a bit more fun to the game. While we wait for the new GTA 6 game, which is probably not going to be out for another couple of years, I think Rockstar are trying to keep us all engaged by just giving us these intermediate moderate updates which aren't the best but let's see hopefully this one see what this one brings anyway guys you know the usual drill like and subscribe and leave me some comments on what you think or what you have thought of the RP game of GTA and if you found any way unlike me finding a better way of playing it let me know